Okay, so we'll start things out with a completely fresh file. We're not working with any framework at this point, just in case you're not working with Slim 3. And we're gonna look at how to get this installed and how to use it. And then in the next part, we're gonna look at changing the default styles. And we're also gonna demo how this works on PHP's command line interface as well. So to go ahead and get started with this, we need to pull this down with Composer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a Composer require on, of course, Symfony and we pull in the var dumper component and just wait for this to finish. Okay, so that's finished installing and literally just by doing this, if we go ahead and require in our composer auto loader, we actually already have access now to this dump function. If we just go ahead and have a look inside of vendor, inside of symphony and var dumper, you can see that just over here, inside of resources, inside of functions, we have this dump function just inside of here. And all this is doing is it's using the var dumper class, which just sits inside of here, and it's using the static dump method. So if we just open this up to have a little look, you can see that that is just there. Now we're gonna look at slightly more advanced things in the next part, how to modify and change things around. But for now, we can just test this out very quickly by maybe creating a user class with a single property on. So we could just say username here and go ahead and set that to anything. But of course, this really helps when you're working with much more complex uh, objects or arrays, anything like that. So what we can now do is just new up a user just to kind of test this out. And let's go ahead and do a dump on user and see exactly what we get. And this just works anywhere within your project. This is kind of global now, so you can just use it anywhere at all within any project. So let's go ahead and give this a refresh. And you can see here we have our user object and we have our username property in there. And if we had anything more complex in here, let's just go ahead uh, and define out an array just as a kind of quick example. Uh, this will show up as well very, very nicely. You can see that we can just open this and close it and it works really nicely. Now at the moment, the color scheme isn't all that attractive. So what we're gonna do is jump over to the next part and we're gonna look at how we can basically set the handler for when we call this function and then go ahead and start to play around with some of the styles and also look at the command line interface as well and see how this interacts when you're maybe developing command line apps or just going ahead and dumping something on the command line. 